Yeah, my name's Lewis Hunt. I'm uh, from Clanded, now just down the road, and uh, I'm studying electronic engineering. My project is called AWAKE, Automatic Waking Alert to Keep Road Accidents and Emergency Down. Quite a long acronym. It's uh, basically, it's a little sensor mounted on a pair of glasses, so if, if you, it's meant to be like a, a product that you can, you can buy, you can, you can put on your own pair of glasses or sunglasses, and uh, it detects if you're sleeping at the, the wheel or not. It's got like a little alarm on it, and uh, it'll sound when, whenever the user's asleep. It detects them by, it's got a little proximity sensor, it, it, and it uh, detects the movement of your eyelid, your eyelash, and the, the LED's facing that way, so the LED won't, doesn't go in the eye or anything. It's just a, a low intensity light, and uh, it detects whether your eyes are open or shut, and you blink, blinking right and stuff and it calculates whether you're about to go to sleep or not. I was interested in uh, the photonics, using, that was the main basis of it, is using light. And uh, I was, I mean, of course I wanted to you know, try and come up with something that would keep road accidents down. It's got a real you know, actual purpose. I'm from Kuwait, my name is Farid Mohammed, and uh, I'm studying electronics uh, engineering at Bangor University. My project is basically an electronic footwear that helps the visually impaired People. This kind of project, a product, can guide them through the stairs, climbing, ascending or descending. So, when you wear this shoe and you go through a stair, it tells you whether this is ascending or descending a stair. There are some sensors, you know, front, downward, and that's what consists. Of, you can see the flow diagram. You know, can tell you even if there is an obstacle in front of you or not. You know, and there are, there are like uh, audio indicators, like speakers, and there are some vibration motor, which is even sometimes let's say there is noise around. You know, the user can feel the vibration, so he knows this is like descending. For example, for the descending, I made it uh, audio and uh, vibration. For the ascending, it's only uh, audio. So this causing because descending is very uh, harmful. My name is uh, Patrick Byrne and I'm from Bangor University Electronic Engineering Department and um, this is my project. The main aim of it was to design a fitness device for an athlete to measure heart rate and breathing rate um, using photonics concepts. I did two bench top systems uh, which simulate breathing and simulate heartbeat and then the final design used a LCD display to uh, record the heartbeat and it displays beats per minute, frequency and then whether it's low, medium or high. This, this will be the final system when it's complete. It uh, involves a finger clip which measures the heartbeat and a chest strap which will measure the breathing. Put on its element, um, with the breathing uh, simulator it uses things called moiré fringes which are uh, formed by two raunchy gratings which works on uh, light uh, interference transmission and then with the heartbeat um, there's an optical fibre uh, which uh, laser speckles induced in that and that's calculated the heartbeat, the beats per minute. I am Khadija al Kandari from Kuwait. I'm studying computer engineering science. It's a robot dog uh, guide nurse. It's a uh, work as a, a robot uh, guide for a blind person. I uh, built a prototype of that using a uh, lighting uh, source. So uh, it's moving around and it's stuck any lighting source is stop or if it's going if the lights coming from right is going left it's coming from left is going right so it's just demonstrate how to move uh, instead of the lighting uh, source i have built two circuits one of them it's uh, the in the photonics with fiber optics and the photodiode and the other circuit is with the micro uh, chip so it's programmed by the computer I see here a lot of people, they are, cannot see and moving with a small stick and I, I prefer to do something more useful for them, to move around without any um, uh, accident or it's easy to take it everywhere. Uh, my name is Marek Rybalski and I'm from Poland, I'm studying computer system engineering. My project is basically sending uh, audio information using a uh, light. You can have any audio device connected to the system, even a microphone. Um, it uses the audio signal, which is an audio wave, to, mo uh, to modulate the carrier frequency uh, provided by a multivibrator. Um, LED light is um, switched on and off with that high speed frequency. Um, thus, an, an it's not visible for human eye that it's switching. 
But in that carrier frequency, there is an audio signal and it goes to a photodiode, which detects that uh, high frequency signal and it changes it to an electric, uh, electronic signal. Then it's passed through an audio power amplifier and that, then it goes to a speaker. Light is uh, the fastest way to send information. Um, it gets up to some uh, terabytes per second.